Hello gardeners, thank you for visiting Cheryl's Organic Food Forest today. It's a very busy time, that's why you uh, have seen me post a lot of videos in relatively short amount of time. Fall is the time of the year for us to plant fruit trees and bushes and vines, and it is also the time that we start more seeds and transplant them into our garden beds for our winter gardens. And, and while we're in the process of doing that, we're also cleaning out and clearing out all of our spring and summer um, uh, vegetables and processing them, dehydrating them, canning them, freezing them, and what have you. Today, I want to talk to you about my Concord vines. I ordered them from Stark Brothers. I really like this company. Um, I'm not getting any residuals or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I don't try to make any money off of anything that I do on YouTube. I post videos because 20, 30 years ago when I was trying to learn a whole lot about gardening, there wasn't an online community. We didn't have the internet. So I had to look at um, videos on, uh, what's that, beta? <laughs> <laughs> and then VHS, and I also went to the library, and I talked to a lot of um, gardeners and learned that way. And to be honest with you, I learned what not to do through trial and error. So anyway, today I'm planting these two vines. They are Concord grape vines. I have the two Concord grape vines planted, and... I will put some more water on it uh, later and more wood chips. Bria helped me. She's a good girl. And I'm trying to walk backwards. I'm going to show you over here I have the muscadines. And in between these two potting tables, I thought it would be a good idea to put the uh, Concord grapes over here. And I'll just have to put two posts behind each vine and let them crisscross and grow up tall. And I have some posts here, so I'll get those next. And I left enough room, about six inches. Well, it looked like a foot from the uh, fence to get that post in there. And uh, let me just pan over here real quick and show you all of the Thompson seedless grapes that I been growing. There are five plants that I grew from tiny, tiny pencil cuttings. If you've been following my videos on my Facebook group, you'll see how small they were. Okay, that's it. Bye. So here are the Thompson seedless green grape cuttings. and This is what they look like when I got them, like little small pencils. And then a few weeks later, I noticed that they were budding out. And I grew them all some, pardon me, winter in my home, and then I transplanted them out in the garden in the spring. Okay, you can see right here, I put, it, originally I put three of the plants in the ground, and I put two in uh, containers. And I realized that the ones that were in the ground did so much better. So I eventually put two on, uh, that were in the containers on each end to make five vines there. I've been told that Thompson seedless grapes don't do well in Texas, but I like a challenge. And so I heard that they are susceptible to a fungus. So what I do is I, I do a preventative spray of natural ingredients. I think we're going to be really blessed with a lot of muscadines uh, and uh, seedless grapes next year. And the following year, maybe we'll be blessed uh, to get some of the Concord. To all my gardeners that are in the path or the vicinity of the hurricane, I want you to know that I'm praying for you. I'm praying for all of your loved ones, your gardens, your food forests. I'm just, I keep asking God to keep his loving arms of protection around all of us. Take care everybody and be safe.